There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey love, so this video is going to be for YG Wigs. I actually did a video for them prior. So this one here is their water wave and I'll post all of the information below. I think it's about 18 inches if I do remember correctly, but you do get a stocking cap. This here is 20 inches, like I said, and it's a 360 lace wig. You also get a cute little book bag that you can carry your wig in if you want to, or you know, you could put whatever you want and just put it on your back and go. You also do get these clips. These are my favorite clips, girl. I love these clips because they really do work. And also you get two extra cones and an elastic band to make sure that it is nice and snug to your head circumference so this is what the wig looks like after I went ahead and brushed it out you know because I did bleach the inside of the cap as you guys can see by the color and I also pre tweezed it a little bit and their combs are already added in the back and there's an adjustable strap but I did remove two of the combs I think it was either two or three in the front because I just don't use them and I did that when I was bleaching it so yeah and I'm also going to be using two boxes of the Weller toner in the color T18 and this is going to just lift the hair just you know give it some color because I've had enough of these dark color wigs so I'm trying to give it a little bit of color and I'm going to be using the Salon Care and 30 developer and this is just the shampoo that I'm going to be using because trust me the toner is a very hard scent to take out so you really want to make sure you have a good neutralizing shampoo so toner works like this one two two bottlefuls per toner so basically one bottle of toner you would equal two bottle two bottles of developer so you know you know something like that you know one bottle of toner and then you just pour two bottles of developer in and you just mix it really well um, you can use it does say to use 20 developer on the box but I use 30 because it lifts the hair so that's the reason why I'm using 30 I've never used 40 so I couldn't tell you about that so I went ahead and brushed the hair out and I'm just gonna take my little painting hair brush whatever you call these things because I could never remember and I'm just gonna go through the hair I'm gonna make sure that I comb it because you really do want to make sure to comb it so that way you don't have any dark spots you know it's not patchy looking you know you want to make sure also that you have enough toner for the hair product I always say more is good because trust me I have had my moments when I have not purchased enough of hair dye and I had to run out run through red lights and make sure to get to the store in time and get back and finish my project so I mean I really didn't run through red lights but you guys get the dress okay so I went ahead and made sure to just evenly distribute this through the entire portion of the unit I think I did leave some pieces out only because I wanted the roots to be a little bit darker as you guys can see that portion where it's the hairline is not wet it's because I wanted to leave it dark like as is as you guys see right here and that's just because I didn't want to have any problems you know blending it in and such and all that good good stuff so as you guys see I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to basically get ready to cut the lace so you do get the unit already pre-plucked pre-tweezed for you so you know you actually really don't have to do anything extra but I like to be extra so a girl is going to be extra now as for their wig quality they do have really nice wigs I did do this blonde wig for them like a few months ago and I went ahead and made it like a grayish color though it looks like like a light denim color gray but it's still really nice so you want to leave a little bit of lace on, not too much, but just a little, hunties, just a little. So as you see me here, I did cut some parts out because this is like a few days later and I will explain in the video. I had to redo this portion because when I looked at the video footage, I had, I actually left a little bit too much lace on. So it looked like I had like a receding hairline. So I had to cut away that extra lace. Like I left a little bit too much. And plus I really didn't like how the baby hairs came out. Like there was way too much baby hairs like girl I did not need all of those baby hairs for real but I like the way the hair came out so it's a water wave hair texture and it's Brazilian virgin hair of course and it's a 360 lace frontal now as for it being water wave texture I really thought that it was gonna be like more wavy like you know like a loose type of wave but to me this actually reminds me of like 
crimped waves like you know like if you braid your hair and then you unbraid it you get like those waves that's what the hair reminds me of you know so I just thought I would share that with you guys. So after I do the mousse and stuff, I, I do spray a little bit of my favorite hairspray, which is the Pump It Up Super Hold. I use the Super Hold Girl because I need it to hold. But I do spray that onto the hairline, and then I just use my blow dryer on cool to medium heat, and girl, I just go ahead and blow dries that. I mean, like, you can definitely use a head scarf if you want to, but I don't use a head scarf because I mean, once in a blue I do, but not on a normal basis because when you use a head scarf, it kind of like smashes the hair down and then you have to fix it. So I just prefer to use the actual blow dryer because it makes life a lot easier. Plus it makes the holds a lot better. And also when you use the blow dryer, you don't get any type of white residue. So for the mousse, I only use the mousse to kind of like sculpt my baby hairs down or sculpt the wispy hairs down. Sometimes I don't even have baby hairs. It's just like flyaway hairs in the front to camouflage the lace. So I use the mousse to that. And then I use my favorite toothbrush. You see how it's matching. It's matching my hair clip girl today. It's matching. I love this toothbrush and then I go ahead and I just take the blow dryer this is my method you know everybody has their own but I prefer to use like the pump it up hairspray it definitely will give me a hold of like uh three to five days depending on how I sleep and what type of activities I'm doing you know what I'm saying if you being like real wild and crazy then best to believe it's probably gonna hold for like a couple days but the hold is really well and as you guys see this is the crimps now the crimps are pretty the style is pretty but I like it a little bit looser or better yet if it was if I knew it was going to be like this particular style crimp I would have definitely wanted a little bit longer but neither here nor there the hair texture is nice I decided to put a little bit of water in it so that way it could tame it down I like the way it came out the hair color is really pretty you know and like I said they have some Good quality hair so i definitely would give them a shot you know they're very patient thank goodness for that but for the mo uh, most part the most part i would say give them a try give them a shot they do have some good quality hair and you can see how cute it looks once it's wet girl i'm saying really really cute okay all right you guys so if you noticed i did change my clothing for the video only because this is like a few days later once I started recording or editing the video, I did notice that I had left way too many or way too much lace on the unit. So it looked kind of crazy. It looked like I had like over plucked it and it was all thin here, but I had just left too much lace on the unit. So the curls are a lot different than what I expected. Um, I thought they was going to be a little bit um, more curly this is more or less like a kind of like crimp wave to me um or like a wave to me it's not a bad curl pattern it's not one of my favorite like wave or curl patterns but it looks like to me this reminds me of like when i unbraid my hair this is what it reminds me of and so when i try to get this particular look i have to braid my hair for like a few days so this is what the pattern on the hair kind of reminds me of but it did shed and i think like they all will shed um did it shed a lot it didn't shed a lot and it didn't shed a tiny bit but it shed enough to where it's like okay enough um but like i said it may have to do with the processing that i did to it also it may have to do with you know i was tweezing the hairs so once i washed it out some of the hairs was able to come out but when i do tweeze and pre-pluck the hairline i do brush but you're not going to catch all of the hair other than that you know yg wigs have some really cool wigs you know um this is the second interview i like their hairlines they do some of the work for you or if anything all depending on what your preference is you can definitely take the wig out of the packaging and just wear it as is or you can customize it to match like your hairline but the length is decent the volume like the density is decent too because it's curly hair you know if you think a comb girl it's going to be really really big but i, I kind of like it at this volume i don't like it too big depending on what type of curl it is if it was probably a different type of curl pattern i probably would have kept it bigger but because it's this particular curl pattern i just rather have left it at this particular volume or you know what i'm saying this particular volume so you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and all the information will be posted for you guys in the description box below make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and let me know what you think share it with everybody in the world okay i love you and i'll see you guys on the soon to come video